still very good. Amen. Yeah. And many times we face how good he is, how good God is by the things that we've got coming our way that we want. But that ain't got nothing to do with how good that God is. Amen. Well, that's just some of his benefits. But I'm thankful, Brother Robert, that sometimes in the darkest of the darkest of the midnight. Amen. I was going down the road today and and uh, I got the best blessing I believe I've ever got in my life. We're going, they're going to Lowe's, and me and Malachi's are going out the road with my pickup truck. Had him in the front with me. He said, Dad, I want to hold your hand. I got changed gears, and I put my hand over there. He looked at me around that car seat, and he said, Dad, he said, I love living on the hill where we live. <laughs> yeah. I said, do what, son? He said, I love our house on the hill where we live. Amen. I said, we're good. I like care too. When he got done, this is what he started doing. Anyway, he started singing, I've been so blessed. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Lord, give me that song back before I get out. I'm going to sing it if I have to stand up by these pictures. Amen. Bless the you, Lord. God has been so good to us. Yeah. Right. Amen. 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 Where he was when the Lord found you. Hey, I said, look where he was when the Lord found you. Amen. Some of you's away down yonder, and some of us was on the church pew. I'll never forget that night he come in that church pew. Hey, and he sat down right beside me. Hey, Amen. The Holy Ghost arm went around me, brother Kevin. And for the seven-year-old boy, he said, I love you, son. I want to go back home with you, and I want to change you. And some yeah. of you was on drugs. Some of you, hey, amen, was playing down there. You tried everything the world had to offer. Hey, amen. And David said he wrote me also about him in the horrible pit. Right. And a fire and clay. And he said, he set my foot on a solid rock and established my court. Hey, amen. Put a new song in my mouth. Amen. Yeah. Praise unto our God. And can you say the Lord is so good? Yeah. Hey, amen. The Lord is better than good. Hey, amen. And I'm glad tonight to know I'm on his side. Amen. Hey, amen. It's good to see you in the Lord's house tonight. If you're here tonight and you're lost and undone without God. Hey, I'm going to tell you, you're our, our honored guest. Right. Amen. Hey, everybody in this building that's saved, you have said where you're sitting at tonight, the condemnation in your heart. You say, you ain't got a clue about me. You don't know what I've done. You're exactly right. I told them when I pulled in, they ain't the very few people that really know me. Amen. And who I really am. I'm backwards. I mean, I, when I was in my eyes young, I'd get up in the, in the youth choir and they'd beg me to sing. I'd say, no, no, no. I was so backwards. In school, I'd take a zero. And I'd, I'd instead, I had to give her a book report. I would not get up in front of nobody if y'all really knew who I was. The Holy Ghost said, I want you to preach the gospel and tell yeah. them about Jesus. Bless I you, said, Jesus. no, sir. And everybody knows me. I can't put words together. Amen. I can't. I ain't a good speaker. Crowds got me crazy. I could have been a mountain to the Zepco 33 the whole time I said. Amen. But God said, I want you to preach. I said, I can't. But Robert, he said, I know you can't. That's why I'm going to help you. Hallelujah. Amen. So yeah. tonight, Good to be in the Lord's hands. Let's all stand. Amen. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we come to you. In the name that's above every name. How good you are, how good you've been. Thank you, Jesus, for another night of revival. Thank you, Jesus, for another time to be able to come. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. We ask you to visit us with your power. Visit us, Lord, with conviction. Visit the hearts. Thank you, Jesus. Help us, God. Lord, give us power. Help Brother Jason tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. Move into service. In Jesus' name.
Amen. 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 You may be seated. Here's what Malice has started to say. God's been good in my life. I've been blessed beyond my wildest dreams. And I don't sleep. Amen. Though I've had my share of hard times, by my side he's always stood. Yes. Through it all, God's been good. That's right. Praise God. I'm glad God's been good. Amen. 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 All right. Now let's get in here and worship the Lord tonight. Amen. We want, we want God to move. We want the young people to come on tonight and sing. And uh, those of you that may have helped them the other night in the in the service holding up the signs, come on, young people, come on. And uh, we want everybody to take their part. And uh, you know what you're supposed to do in this song. Amen. So let's worship God. Let's get in here. Worship the Lord. Come on.
Thank you, Jesus.
The Bible said that the gospel is the power unto them that believe. That's yeah, right. that's right. Amen. The gospel brings, puts the faith in the man to bring him to the door. That's right. But it's up to the man to open the door. Right. And man, I don't care how good of a preacher you are, you can't make nobody open the door. Now you heard, seen these signs uh, tonight, and uh, every one of them had to make that move before they could find the victory. They had to make that plunge of faith. Right. The man of God. Now, you, none of you got saved without a preacher. Amen. The Bible said, how are you going to hear without a preacher? Amen. Somewhere along the line, somebody preached to you the gospel. Right. And told you about Jesus. The Bible said that it pleased God through the foolishness of preaching. Right. I've all, that's what I love so much about our God. Yeah. He's always looking out for the little man. Yeah. He's always looking out for the, the man that ain't smart. That's right. Amen. That's what I love about him. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. He's not, he's not a God that wants us to be exalted. He said, among the Gentiles, he said, they, they search for who the greatest. But he said, let this not be among you. Right. Amen. Right. He said, the greatest among you, let that man get down and wash your feet. That's right. Yeah. Let that man serve you. I love the Lord. I love him. I, I love him just because he's that way tonight. Amen. It's a yeah. great joy for us to be here. If you have your Bibles, I want you to turn to the book of Revelation tonight. And I'm going to confess to you before I preach that I'm not no uh, Revelation uh, preacher. Amen. I, I, will, I should be more. I understand that. There's a lot of things that I don't understand. But I know what I feel in my spirit. Amen. I know what's... Uh, uh, I just I just know in my spirit what I feel like the Lord's trying to show me tonight. Amen. And I, I've got a grim look for this world. Uh, they, ain't much, they ain't much hope for this world tonight. I'm going to read that to you tonight. And then I'm going to read you another place. You won't have to turn. But I want, I want to read this verse to you. In Revelation chapter number 6. Chapter number 6. And we'll start reading in verse 9. He said, when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God. And for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest for a little season, until their fellow servants also and their brethren, that they should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. Now, I'm like most of you tonight, I'm from the mountains. Amen. And I didn't, uh, back when I was a boy, all the preachers that I heard preach, amen, they didn't have no school. Some of them wasn't even able to read the mail. They wasn't able to read. But what I'm getting ready to read to you is what the men of God preached to me in my day that made me fear God. It made me fear the Lord. Amen. And he said and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. And the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell under the earth. Even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, as when she's shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll. When it's rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men. I want you to uh, look, listen real close at verse 15. And I want you to listen and think about the category of men and women that you know, amen, that will fit this. He said, and the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Now listen to what they said when they got in them rocks. They said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. You didn't know that Jesus had a wrath of that, did you? In verse 17 it said, For the great day of his wrath is come. Who shall be able to stand? I feel it will have on me a stand. Bless him all. And be seen it tonight. Then I'm going to read to you uh, two more verses found in the book of Philippians. The Bible said, Amen, that at the name of Jesus, 
that every knee should bow the things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Now, uh, in, another, in another verse, uh, in the book of Romans, the Bible said, amen, here in Philippians, it said that you should bow. You should do this. But in the book of Romans, the Bible said that you shall bow. You shall bow. And brother and sister, I want you to know tonight, amen, you don't have to say it out loud, but I want you to say it in your spirit. Everybody in here, you just say it at this particular time right now. I'm going to bow. You're going to bow. Come
I go to bed at night scared to death of the little boy. Yeah. Worried to death about the mark of the beast. How am I going to buy? How am I going to sell? Unless I take his mark. Somebody said, I won't take it. If you ain't a Christian, you've done God.
your name, Jesus. Let me just stay out there. I've seen some pretty stout men. Thought this was Mr. Big. Thought they wouldn't bow down. He ain't got a lick to do a Baptist. He meant Methodist, Catholic, Church of Christ. Right on down the line. All he sees is the blood of his young kid.
Well, man, but without thinking, I looked up to my boy Zachary, and this is what I said before I shut my eyes in death. I confess the Lord Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Amen. He's Lord. 
Amen. Now when I stand back, you wouldn't raise your hand. You wouldn't raise your hand. Would you come and pray? Would you get up right now and come and pray? Would you get up right now and call on Jesus for your soul salvation? I can't be, I can't be one of them church people. I couldn't either. Could you home? I'm an old mountain hill belly, don't know my left hand from my right hand. God, for some reason, saved my son. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I couldn't go to sleep, Danny. Yeah. Word to death about going right. to hell. Right. Yeah. When I got home, and as an old woman, I'll tell you this, and I'll get back to you, Pastor. As a woman went to come to church, she was requesting prayer for her husband. He was a big man. She said, my husband's lost. He's killed people. Said he can't sleep. We get up at night. I get to looking for him in the bed. He's not there. He said, I thought he'd be under the kitchen table. Thank you, little Fox He said, I'll find him everywhere in the house. Terrified. I've got to shake him. Come, come out of it. Come out of it. And said, he's, uh, he's about to kill me. He said, he can't sleep at all. He can't sleep. The church got to pray and had a burden for him. Had a vision for him. That night one night had come. Got glorious to say. God saved me. Amen. She got up testified the night. The next day said, my husband slept 16 hours last night. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hours. Yeah. When you meet the Prince of Peace, hell yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I don't know yeah. You can lay your head down and go to sleep. Amen. Amen. I got to wear it out. Amen. Amen. You gonna come? I just believe what them old time preachers did. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start at the back of the church. I'm gonna hold my hand out. If that's you that's lost, I'm gonna walk with you. All you gotta do is do that kind of thing. That's what they used to do. It worked back then. I believe I don't believe in nothing new. Right. It worked back then, it don't work tonight. Them old preachers would come back. Lord, I remember as a little boy. Send them over them old sinners. Them old mean men in the community. When that man of God would reach out to them. Lord, have mercy. He would break down and start crying. He'd go all that out of I'm going to do it both sides of the church and I'll give you my word. I'll be done. If you want to pray tonight, I'll go with you. Maybe everybody on the pew saved. I hope so. I hope so. I'm where's my hand out. Amen. Feel all this way to Would you come? Now, I ain't going to just embarrass you. If you've got the Lord in your life, God bless you. God bless you. I guarantee, Brother Will, before I go by one, before I go by one, he'll get lost sinner. He's among us tonight. He's among us. He needs to come. You pray while I do this church. I ain't doing it for a show. I'm going to reach it out of the hand. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. Keep a plan. I know you will, good brother. Thank you, Jesus. God's are talking to you. That heart is pounding right out of your chest. That big lump in your throat.